This is Let's Play Yu-Gi-Oh! Godan of Destiny. Heck yeah. Let me just uh, tilt you guys in the right direction. Make sure you can see the bottom screen there. Yeah, you should be able to. Uh, I think that looks good. That looks good. Alright. So guys, we are back with some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's play The Dawn of Destiny with commentary here. Uh, actually, I think I can slide you guys over just a little bit. Let me see. Let me load up the game here. Oh, yeah, I definitely can, yeah, yeah. So let's do it like this. Slide. Slide, climb. There we go. How's that? That probably looks a little better. It looks better to me, anyway. Okay. Let's just roll with that. Uh, let's just get right into it, guys. Like I said last episode. Uh, this episode, um... Uh, gonna save these two, uh, Ishizu and Odeon, for the episode with HD. Let's just get right into Triple Ten. So, uh, I think Joey would probably be easier first. And we have unlocked Mai before, right? Yes, we have. Okay, I thought so. Okay, yeah, so we'll do Merrick last first. Let's do it. Alright. Hey, listen up. True does us back off from nobody because only cowards don't stand up to a challenge. You better come strong because it's time to duel. All right, let's do it, Joey Wheeler. All right, looks like we'll be going first. Let's do it. And I'm going to take a drink of... Uh, I actually got some Dr. Thunder Cherry. Very good. Mm. That's good stuff. Is this new music? Uh, it might be. Sounds good. all the music in this game. All right, we'll go with three face downs, and yeah, prepare to face my sea creature, a seven colored fish. And we got widespread ruin to protect him just in case. Uh, the good part is Joey's life points are pretty low here at 3,000. Hopefully he won't go with time wizard. Okay, okay. That's kind of what I wanted you to do, Joe. That's fine, go ahead. Go ahead, make my day. Widespread ruin. Yeah, so if he doesn't play any traps, uh, that's good. Oh, no, yeah, this looks bad, guys. He activated his trap card. Oh, is that it? Is that all, Joseph? Ha! Psh, man, this might be the quickest duel in this Let's Play, like, ever. Like, and that includes all of the, uh, the ones I, I do with the HDMI device. Uh, without commentary? Yeah. <laughs> what? Like, what's the time on this video? We're at, uh, three minutes and, like, 30 seconds? Dude. And, uh, you know, half of that I was doing the intro. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, that's gotta be, like, that's gotta be a speed run for this LP. Quickest school in this LP. You guys just witnessed it. Ah, uh, man. I got totally whooped. But as long as I am never gonna quit, I'm never gonna quit as long as I got my whole future ahead of me. Hey, that's the spirit, Joe. You didn't even get out that red eyes, Joey. I feel bad for you. Poor guy. Mai's also got pretty low life points, so... Now, I doubt we'll be able to do the same to her. She's probably gonna set up some traps. Go ahead, Joel, me. I could use a good laugh. Ha! <laughs> you're... You're not as strong as you look. Check it out. I play Harpy Lady at attack mode. Let's see if she does it. All right. Round two. Fight. Well, and it's definitely going to be a longer duel because she gets to go first, regardless. Oh, yeah. A couple face downs. Ah, you saw my Harpy Lady in attack mode. Did you see herpes? No. I played Harpy Lady, not herpes. Stop saying herpes. I should probably quit that before I get uh, demonetized. Yeah, that is a thing. <laughs> that is a thing, Josh. Um, now. You, something you do have to be wary with of mine. She does like to play Harpy's Feather Duster, so let's just attack, see what happens. Uh, well, that's not gonna stop the attack. Ha! You fell right into my trap, hon. Now, Enchanted Javelin will boost my life points by your monster's attack points. Alright. Ha! Not bad, Flood. Alright, we'll set, uh... Yeah, we do have to be wary of Feather Duster. You know what? First turn, we'll just set one card. Let's see if she plays Harpy's Feather Duster. And out of all the people in the game, Mai seems to draw it like, um, like she has a very high rate of drawing. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, 
Maybe my luck's just pretty bad in this game, but yeah, compared to everyone else, she seems to draw Harpy's Feather Duster at like a really, really high rate. You fell right into my trap, Wheeler. All right, so she didn't play it last turn. We'll set one card face down. We're not gonna set everything, because I don't even have the cards to discard with Magic Thorn, and nothing's in my graveyard yet. So, and plus she didn't play any monsters last turn, so, okay, what well, she got one this time? Uh, no, 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 we're good. I'll set a monster face down and end my turn, hon. All right, my, ah, legendary fisherman, very good. We'll sit down Magic Jammer. She plays a dangerous magic card. I'll throw away the fisherman because we can revive him. And we'll go with everything now. She hasn't played Feather Duster in a few turns. I feel safe now. Go, giant red sea snake. Flood her monster out. Everyone knows that monsters in the air can't survive being drowned with water. <laughs> go, tidal surgeon. <laughs> That's probably one for the highlight reel. Now what's funny is my line makes no sense, but that honestly sounds like something they, they'd say in Duelist Kingdom, like, Oh man, everyone knows that uh, air monsters can't withstand a tsunami. What? A trap? Oh no. That's right, my, my dear. That's right, my dear. Ah, perfect. Kill my seven-colored fish! Prepare for this land lubber. My seven colored fish is a rare rainbow fish that has never been caught by mortal man. Ha 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 ha. Well, that's a good thing I'm a woman, Mako. Aw oh, man, that's one match. You know what? Out of all the duels in the anime, like, there were, there were several, several matchups I would have liked to see. Now, like, one that we really, really didn't get to see in the anime, huh, not bad, is uh, Mai versus Kaiba. I would have loved to see that, you know, because Kaiba usually kind of goes with this back row strategy, like shrink and catch card, but she can just feather duster. GG, bro. GG no re. Like, and uh, plus she has pretty good speed with her harpy ladies. Now, of course, in pretty much every duel, Kaiba seems to get out blue eyes. How would she get rid of Blue Eyes? Well, she does run like Mirror Wall. She runs some good traps, um, as well as equip support. So, I don't know. I think that would have been interesting. Uh, like I said, another duel I would have liked to see. Mai versus Mako. I think that would have been pretty good. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, not bad at all, freaky fish guy. No. But yeah, I don't even think she interacted with Mako like once. I must be having a nightmare. I can't believe I lost to the likes of you. I don't know, maybe she saw Mako, like, you know, for the beginning of Battle City and was just like, oh yeah, there are a lot of familiar faces here, but I don't think she actually, like, talked to him. You know what I mean? It's crazy, it's crazy. There are a lot of matchups like that. Why would I, you foolish fool, a man chosen by fate, you fool, to bear a millennium item, you foolish fool, lose to a peon like you. Now prepare to get your name changed to Steve, mind slave. For I will use my millennium rod to take away everything you hold dear. All right, and hardest duel of the triple, here we go. I think we'll just set rush. And we'll summon fish. Not gonna go all in. We're just gonna enter a term. Well, I'll set one more, Merrick. Gotta be aware of the feather duster. Everybody's got feather duster. Ha ha ha! Check this out, you foolish fool. Now prepare for I set three cards face down and a face on monster. You'll never be able to defeat me, foolish fool. You ye. And he does like to run like the jars and many of the bugs, so let's just attack first and ask questions later. Seven colored fish, tidal surge. Uh oh, that could be very not good for us depending on what this is. Okay, it's just magician pit, thank god. I just like, ooh, if that's, you know, standard morphing jar, like, if that would have been regular morphing jar, we would have discarded four cards there. Yeah, yikes. Luckily, he has no spells in the grave either right now. That's very good. Um, I'm actually going to set Torrential, and I will set our Morphing Jar. I know it'll cost us a thousand points, but oh, now it'll cost us two thousand. Uh, maybe he won't attack. I might use Widespread Ruin to block. Honestly, because I really want to reduce the cards in our hand as much as possible. Or take out one of the thorns. Okay, he didn't even attack. Perfect. I'll save that feast down, Monson, in my turn, foolish fool. Okay. 
so we got Witch of the Black Forest. Uh, well, as much as I don't like to do it, summon Witch. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna take the damage, guys. We're gonna take the 2,000, so this is gonna even things up, but I really wanna get a new hand. Hopefully we draw Feather Duster. That would be very helpful. Yeah, because him having up both Magic Thorns, very not good in the school. Very not good. Ooh. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. Ring of Destruction, yeah. Now, this does damage both players. I could boost it. I got some cards to protect. You know what? We're gonna boost seven colored fish here, just so we both take a little more damage, believe it or not. So we got plenty of back row and stuff. So now we both take 35. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now we know he's got nothing face down as well. That's very good. Okay. Typhoon, uh, one of the uh, thorns. That's good. And we're basically gonna play every card in our hand before we attack here, just in case he's got a uh, morphing jar. So ocean. Uh, let's set snatch still first. So we got protection. We got negate attack and vice bird room. That's good. And I've already summoned witch. Okay, so we'll attack with the witch in case it's something powerful like Bistro Butcher. Oh, it is Morphing Jar. Perfect. Perfect. And so we only lose 500 points and get five more cards. That is perfect. Okay, the only thing that would have been more perfect is if we had Magic Thorn. Looks like he got rid of a lot of good stuff there. Hopefully we get Solemn Wishes because I'll feel a little more comfortable. Ooh, Chain Energy. We can burn him out. Plus we can attack with Jar. This is good. So he's down to 2,800. Okay. So what all did he get rid of? Uh, right, he played Ring. Okay, so we made him discard Solemn. Morphing Jar 2, that's annoying. Man Eater Bug, and another Morphing Jar. Wow, that is very good. I'm glad we got him to discard all that. Main Phase 2, I think I will. Yeah, we've got Legendary Ocean up for Fisherman. And we got Protection Traps. I think I will play Chain Energy. There's a chance, like, depending on what he drew here, he may play, like, five, like, a bunch of face downs and burn himself out. And we've got the protection. We've got widespread ruin and stuff. As long as he doesn't feather duster, eh, well, he's probably going to hit chain energy here. Yeah, okay. okay. So he's not going to take any damage. Let's see how many cards he would have taken. One, two, three. Man, he would have taken 1,500 damage here. Uh, summon's fine. We could draw two cards here. Man, and he's only going to do 700 damage. Huh. I'll take the two free cards, Mer Well, the three, because uh, Witch is getting sent to the graveyard. So, yeah, I'll take the three free cards, buddy. Royal Decree. Perfect. That's exactly what I want to see. We'll take Cyber Jar, just in case. Yeah, Royal Decree. Very good. Very good. Okay. All right. Now, if I remember right, oh, we could try to snatch still for the win. Problem is, he's got two new face downs. Let's let's just see what happens here when I summon legendary fisherman. I summon the legendary fisherman. Ha <laughs> ha, landlubber. Ooh, good. He revealed one. Solemn wishes. Okay, let's go for it, guys. Let's go for it. Let's see if we can win this turn. Snatch steel. If not, we've got royal decree for next time. Uh, magic Jammer, probably. Yeah. That's to be expected. That's to be expected. Ooh, card... Ooh! Ooh! Why didn't you play that? Like, after your b -Sharp Butcher get connected? Because we only drew one card this turn, right? Dude, if you had played that, like... I don't remember how many cards we had at the end of his turn. But dude, if he had played card destruction in main phase two, I'm pretty sure you would have won, Merrick. You you threw the match, buddy. You threw the match. Oh my god. Okay, so we know he's got no face downs now. Uh, Fisherman can get over this. So that's 50, 50. Uh, so it'll take him down to 20, 50. And we can resurrect. Ah, oh, man, we almost have just enough. Well, I'm gonna do it anyway. Premature burial. It is risky, because our life points are pretty low too, but I'm gonna do it. Seven colored fish, return to the field, buddy. I need you. Yeah, he's got nothing. Plus we've got, uh, let me just set Royal Decree right now. 
right here, right now. All right, everything attacks. Go, seven colored fish. Ha 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 ha! Tsunami attack! Wash that monster clean off the field! Go, Jar! Ha ha ha! Jar smash attack! Man, he's gonna have 50 life points! Oh man, imagine if he wins. Imagine if he wins and we had him down to 50 life points, man. Let's see what else he has in the grave. Oh man, okay, that's it. Well, he's only got one card in that, but imagine, imagine. He could do it though, I've, I've seen crazier. Now he's got 550. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, well, he got protection though, this is okay. Yeah, that's fine, Merit, that's fine. Another face down monster. Mm. Okay. I think we got this though. Um, you're attacking with that? Go! Negate attack! <laughs> Your attack's been cancelled. Negate attack. Negate the attack. Merrick and it's the battle phase. <laughs> now I'll show you one of the powerful flood combos we have. Check it out. Legendary Fisherman. While Lumi's on the field, this card's unaffected by spell cards, and it can't be attacked, even though your summoned skull's lightning is super effective against my water monsters. And a legendary ocean's treated as Umi. So now, I play the magic card Dark Hole. <laughs> Say goodbye to your man eater bug. <laughs> and my legendary fisherman remains unharmed. Now, say goodbye to the rest of those life points, Merrick. I summon seven colored fish. <laughs> Go, legendary fisherman. Legendary Atlantean Pike attack. And we win. Now, you foolish fool. How could you overcome my lightning monster? You're no match for the power of the sea. Ha ha ha. No, this isn't over, Steve. I will challenge you again. All right, and once again, we will select Raw for Merrick. Mm, nothing too good. Ah, King, King of Yomri Makai. Pretty good in Duels of the Roses. Uh, that's, it's, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, but yeah, so once we start the HDMI, I will switch these guys to the end. I mentioned that last... Oh, I did not mean to do this tier again. Ooh. Um... Well, I guess we're going for a bonus round, guys. I accidentally hit the A button. All right, my bonus round. I did not mean to do this tier again. I was going to do some uh, single duels versus uh, Yami Merit. Um, but what was I trying to say? Yeah, basically, and thankfully I moved Joey to the end. Because you do want to uh, uh, move each duelist to the end of the, uh, let me think here, to the row. Uh, we'll go with Sea Snake. Uh, because uh, that will actually upgrade their decks. I know these guys are repeats, but believe it or not, uh, that's that's why this triples like this. You know, your life points are low, their life points are low, but by unlocking the repeats, each one. Oh, right, Jiki. Ha, I activate Rai Geki. Check this card out. It fries your water monster with a super effective lightning bolt to the face. Thankfully, you ain't got no monsters, my, my dear. Uh, but anyway, uh, looks like this triple's gonna be a little harder than it was last time. Uh, let's set. And we'll set Call of the Haunted. Watch out for the duster. Uh, but yeah, long story short, make sure you put each uh, repeat duelist to the end of the triple at least once. Uh, you know, and beat the triple because that will um, upgrade their decks. Uh, I mentioned that uh, a couple episodes ago. Oh, we can knock out her field card. Sounds like a good idea. Let's do it. I activate a legendary ocean, my dear. Also, I'm surprised I went through. No magic jammer? Also, my dear, this downgrades all water monsters in my hand by one level. And I have the legendary fisherman. Ha 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 ha. All right, legendary fisherman. Attack her directly. Ha, huh, you fell right into my trap again, hon. So I'll gain the life points you're about to inflict directly. Not bad, my, not bad. I think uh, for this episode, we'll just see if, uh, well, I guess I could have played Call of the Hive, but 
Nah, it's fine. It's fine. Um, I guess we'll, uh, what was I saying? I guess we'll beat my, because uh, we are at about 20 minutes. We'll beat my quick if we can. And then, um, yeah, at the next episode, I guess I didn't mean to do this triple twice, but we'll start the uh, next one. Because I was planning to do all these with HDMI, but, uh, yeah, that's the plan, I guess, now. Because I can't exactly back out and save, which I wanted to do. Misclicks for the win. You guys get more content. Be grateful for misclicks. Ha ha ha! Legendary fisherman, destroy that harpy lady. Now, my favorite monster, my harpy lady's gone. I guess she doesn't have any more traps like Mirror Wall or Mirror Force. Oh, well. Maybe now she does. Maybe now she does. We'll see, my dear. I draw. Black Pendant. Very good. Hmm. Let's see if she's got a magic jammer. I know this isn't going to boost Legendary Fisherman. I just want to test a spell card. You betcha. Okay. Uh, let's just attack. See what happens. Nothing's going to happen. Okay. Huh. Not bad, Flood. Now, if I remember, there's a glitch called the Haunted. If I were to use it now, I don't think I could attack with Sea Snake. Let me just make sure. It has been a while since I played this game, but I'll try. What a trap card! Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, there is a glitch with Call of the Haunted in this game. Like, you will be able to attack. If you can attack with another monster first during the battle phase, then it's fine. Or you play it before your battle phase, but yeah. We definitely should have been able to win there, but. It's okay. There are, you know, several glitches, and she didn't do anything, so it's fine with me, my. All right. Kill legendary fisherman. Sink her life points into the depths of the sea. Ha ha ha. Man, that's not like an anime quote. I don't think Mako ever said that line, but that, that sounded pretty cool. We, we got a nice little highlight in the episode. Ha, huh, you can only say that true strength of a duelist after a loss. Never after a win. That's a nice quote, my. I actually like that quote. Very well said, my. Good for you. Good for you. That is well said. Okay, yeah, Joey is at the end. Okay, guys, well, that's going to be it for this, I guess, bonus episode of commentary, because, I mean, I didn't mean to do... Well, the next episode will basically be bonus, but bonus commentary. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode uh, with the uh, Triple Ten. Uh, next episode, we're going to finish this Triple out. I'll give you guys a preview of Triple Eleven. And then we'll do some single duels with Yami Merrick, uh, you know, uh, without the misclicks. And then, you know, I'll do as many single duels as I like, because I really love the music with Yami Merrick. And then we will go from there. So thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you guys all next time. Have a great day.